Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. I have been solving math problems for GMAT out of this book here, the GMAT Review, the official guide. If you do not have this book, go to website, uh, go to mba.com, the web same website that you will need to go to to register to take the GMAT. Go to mba.com and at there, at that website, you will be able to find either that older version that I showed you, the 11th edition, which of course there is no reason to buy now. You can buy this new edition, which is the 12th edition, which it just came out with. Uh, despite the fact that most of the problem in the two editions are the same, you should still buy the newer edition, the 12th edition. The problem that I'm about to solve, you will find it on page number 184, problem solving number 234, which is the tag that I've been using for the older book, the 11th edition. And the new tag that I'm also going to insert in my video is this one, GMAT-12E for the 12th edition with this book here, page 183, problem solving 217. It's the exact same problem. The only thing they have done is the drastic change, which is that instead of putting it on page number 184, they have put it on 183. If you can handle the shock. Let's take a look at it. It says, in a certain game, a large container will fill, in a certain game, a large container is filled with red, yellow, green, and blue beads or marbles, whatever you want to call it, doesn't matter. Alright, so you got red, yellow, green, and blue beads. And they are worth, respectively, 7, 5, the red beads is worth 7 points, the yellow is worth 5 points, the green is worth 3 points, and blue is worth 2 points. Here's the question. It says, a number of beads are then removed from the container. A number of beads, so you put your hand in the container and you remove a number of beads. The question simply is, if you were to multiply the value of each of these beads that you removed, if you want to multiply, let me read it the way say it, they, they say it. They're saying, if the product of the point values of the removed beads is 147, if it's 147, the question simply is, how many red beads were removed? All right, so let's start then. Now the very first thing we have to realize is that since the product of the point values of the removed beads, the beads that we're removing is 147, the very first thing we need to figure out are the factors of this quantity, 147,000. Uh, that, will, that will tell us the composition of the beads that we removed. Now what I'm going to do is, instead of trying to figure out the factors of 147, I'm going to break it up into two parts. Let's figure out the factors of 1,000. And then let's figure out the factors of 147. Let's do it here, 147. 147. It will not go into 2, it's not an even number. Will it go into 5? Uh, will, will it go into 3? 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 plus 7 is 12. It goes into 3. Let's start with 3 there. And if you don't, if you don't know what I just did, the trick is that if the sum of the digits, if the sum of the digits, SUM sum of the digits goes into 3, then the number goes into 3. For example, for example, I'm going to make something up here. 860, 860, does this number go into 3? I don't know. Let's find out. Does it go into 3? I'm, I'm trying to figure out here. Well, let's see. Well, this goes into... This 6 goes into 3, so I don't have to worry about it. 9 goes into 3. This 6 goes into 3. 8 and 4 will go into 3. 0, of course, is just 0. 8 plus 1 will go into 3. 7 plus 5 goes into 3. Oh, looks like that number goes into 3 evenly, with no remainder. That's how we find out if the number goes into 3 or not. Because all we have to worry about are the, are, the, are the sum of the digits. And even then, when we, when we talk about sum of the digits, we don't actually have to figure out the sum. 
like I just did here for example. So this goes into three. Fourteen goes into three, twelve goes into three four times, and then two left over becomes twenty-seven, nine, seven, and seven. That's it. So the factors of one hundred and forty-seven are three, seven, and seven. Three times seven times seven is one forty-seven. Let's figure out the factors of one hundred. Uh, let's figure out the factors of one thousand. Start with two. It gives me five hundred. Two again. Gives me 250, 2 again, gives me 125, 5 goes 2 times plus 2, 5, another 5, gives me 5, and that's it. So, what does it tell you? What does all this work tell you? Well, it tells us since, let's start with the blue, since blues are worth 2 points each. Basically, what we have found just now is that, let me rewrite, let me use a different pen here. What we have found is that 147,000 equals 3 times 7 times 7, 3 times 7 times 7, times 2 times 2 times 2, 2 times 2 times 2, times 5 times 5 times 5. That's what we just found. So that tells me. And, and if you multiply them out, obviously it's 147,000. So what that, that tells us is that, let's, let, like I said, let's start with blue. Blue is worth two points. And I see three blues here. That means three of these were removed. I see three fives. That means three of the yellows were removed. I see one red. Oh, sorry, one three. Three is green. Only one green was removed. And I see two sevens, which tells me the two of the red words were removed. And the question simply was, I believe they were asking for red. How many red, be red beads were removed? Let me take a look at the clock in the back. Hold on. How many red beads were removed? The answer is two. That's it. As I tell you here, there are only two removed. Now, now I'm going to walk up to the blackboard. I'm not going to walk up to it because I'm at the blackboard. And I'm going to get rid of the stuff that was worthless, that was pointless, that was not necessary in this question. Here we go. This was completely unnecessary. It was a waste of time. It was a waste of time because as soon as I split it into 147 and 1000, I hope that you were able to see immediately that no matter how you chop down 1000, a 7 is not going to appear in 1000. 7 is not a factor of 1000. So no matter what the factors are, this factors of 1000 is of no interest to us. It is of no interest to us because all we are interested in is, all that we were asked is how many red marbles were removed and the red marbles are worth 7 points each. So no matter what the factors are of 1000, 7 will never appear there. So this was pointless. I'm not interested in this. We are not interested in this part also. Technically, strictly speaking, if I were taking the real exam, we were done. We were done at this point right here. That's it. That tells me that since red is worth seven points, there were two reds that were removed. That's it. All of this was unnecessary too. That's what it is. I did the entire thing just so you can see what it is. So, so what we have removed are, we have removed two red marbles, three yellow marbles, one green marbles. Let me put them on the top again so you can read them actually. Two red marbles, three yellow marbles, one green marbles, and three blue marbles. Why am I coming up with this number? Three blue marbles because we have three twos. One, two, three. Why am I coming with three yellow marbles? Because we have five yellows. Uh, three, three, th th three fives. And then we have one three. Three is green. One, one green marble and so on and so forth. And that's what it is. So this was not necessary. This was not necessary. We just had to find the factor of 147. And when we found the factor of 147, two sevens were appeared, and therefore two red marbles were removed, even though this number looks like a huge number, 147,000, and that whole bunch of marbles that we removed, they're calling it beads. You know, a whole bunch of beads that we removed, there were only two red ones. I hope you found it helpful. 
If you wish to hire me for personal private tutoring, or if you wish to buy my DVDs, or if you wish to purchase the solutions to solution manuals to these problems, in any of those scenarios, if you wish to get hold of me, if you wish to communicate with me, go to my website at www.preppreppor4gmat.com -E and send me an email. Alright, thank you.